Hi everyone. Hello students. Welcome to my another lecture on surface integral. This is the fourth lecture on surface integral. As you know, what is the what is surface integral? In my first, second, and third lecture, you will see and you will get idea about surface integral. In this integral, I am just solving a problem. In this lecture, that is the learner will be able to understand how to solve a problem that is evaluate this when f is given. F is given, s is the surface on the plane. Earlier we did the plane, earlier we did the surface is, is on cylinder, surface is on sphere and 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 surface uh, is uh, is a rectangle okay rectangle now the surface is a plane okay this is a plane 3d surface what is surface integral it is a it is a it is a second order second in double integral with the with 3d surface with 3d surface that is double integral with 3d surface is known as surface integral so without wasting time I am just solving this sum, okay? So don't leave in the middle of this session. You have to see first to last, then you will understand clearly how to solve this problem. Very important sum I have taken from university paper. So many times came this sum, okay? F is given, S is the surface of the uh, plane this, okay? So what is this plane? That is 2x plus y plus 2z equal to 6. So by, uh, that is, x by a plus y by b plus z by c equal to 1. This is the, uh, uh, this, that is dividing both sides by 6. So, x by 3 plus y by 6 plus z by uh, 3, uh, z by 3 equal to 1. Okay. Okay. So, that means this plane meets x axis at 3, 0, 0, y axis at 0, 6, 0 and z axis at, z axis at 0, 0, 3. Okay. Okay, so that means if we, if we draw the diagram like this, this is the diagram that is, say, so this is x-axis, this is x-axis, this is y-axis, this is z-axis, okay. So x-axis is suppose 3, 0, 0, this is intercept form. This is the intercept of form of the plane x by a plus y by b plus z by c equal to 1. So, this will be 0, 6, 0, 6, 0. This point is 0, 6, 0. And this point is 0, 0, 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, 3. Okay, 0, 0, 3. So, this is the intercept of the plane. Here the, here the surface is, here the surface you see, this is the plane, this is the plane. The surface is neither parallel, neither lie on any plane. That is neither uh, lie on xy plane or yz plane or zx plane or uh, parallel to xy plane or yz plane or zx plane. Okay. So, this plane is not lies on any plane. So, neither lie on any plane nor parallel to any plane. So, if in this case, what will you do? You will take, you will take the plane that is, that is uh, either, you, you can take this plane, you can say, that is, suppose we are saying this plane lies on xy plane or yz plane or zx plane. So, I am taking here the plane lies on xy plane. In that case, how to find the n vector? This is very, very important n vector. Before n vector, you have to, that is, you need normal vector. You need normal vector. You need, you need normal, you need normal vector n cap. That is n equal to uh, grade s, grade, grade s or grade 5. You can say grade s by mod grade s. Mod grade s. What is grade s? Delta, uh, delta 5, uh, delta f. That is uh, delta s by mod delta s. Mod delta s. What is s actually? s equal to s equal to, this is the plane, so s equal to, we can write 2x minus y, 2x plus y plus 2z minus 6, okay, this is your s, okay, so this is your s, so what is grade s, 
that is grade therefore grade s grade s you have to find that is delta s that is equal to delta can be written as uh, i into del del x i into del del x plus j into j into del 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 y plus k into del del z of px plus y plus 2z minus 6 okay so you have to solve del del x of x is 1 so it is 2 plus del del y uh, this is this is 2 plus del del y uh, that is 2i it will be 2i okay 2i plus j plus 2k okay this del del x of x is 1 so i into 2i del del x del y of this is j that is 1 so it will be j and del del y of this 0 del del y of this 0 okay similarly del del z of that is 2 del del y of x 0 del del z of y 0 del del uh, del del z of 6 0 so this is actually grade s so now what is n n so that is delta s that is 2i plus 3j plus 2k by root of r root of r 2 square plus 1 square that is this 2 this 1 this 2 2 square plus 1 square plus 2 square okay so that comes that is equal to that is n cap equal to we are getting n vector equal to i'm just all 2i plus j plus 2k 2i plus j plus 2k by 9 that is by 3 so this thing is your n vector by 3 this is the n vector now what will you do f dot n vector this part you have to find f dot n vector that is f is what that is x plus y square into i minus 2xj plus 2yk okay dot this dot third bracket third bracket dot 2 by 3i we can write 2 by 3i this is 3 plus 1 by 3j plus 2 <laughs> This you have to find now. This this is this equal to you will get 2 by 3 into i dot i1. So 2 by 3 into x plus y square minus 2 by 3 into x plus 4 by 3 y z. Y y 4 by 3 y k dot k is 1. So to 4 by 3 y 4 by 3. 4 by 3 y z this is y z it will be y z y z so this will be y z okay 4 by 3 y z okay okay this 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 is y z be careful this is y z 2 y z okay so this is your this is your f dot n now what is the what is the integration now uh, that is it this you have to convert this into single a variable uh, that, that, that is uh, that you have to convert what is z actually z you are getting since since now you see since z equal to we can write uh, 6 minus 2x minus y by 2 so we can put over here that is 2 by 3 just follow me 2 by 3 x plus y square minus 2 by 3 x plus 4 by 3 y into the increase of z we can write 6 minus 2y minus 2 6 minus 2x 2x minus y uh, by 2 since we are we are taking the surface on xy plane we are taking the surface on xy plane so i am converting i am deleting 
that is removing the z function that is z z eliminate z from here so what is z from here we are getting z equal to 6 minus 3x minus y by 2 so i am putting this and if we simplify this then the answer will be 4 by 3 3y minus xy if we simplify this then you are getting that is this is f dot n vector f dot n vector now now the question is now the question is it is in the first octane it is in the first octane so we can say first octane on xy plane this is x this is y this is on xy plane that is z equal to 0 that is 2x plus y equal to 6 so this if we take the strip like this this is o origin this is uh, y equal to this is y equal to 0 so y equal to 0 and this is 6 comma 0 comma 0 so y this is the strip strip is parallel to y axis this is the strip so integration the that is our integration uh, that is f dot n f dot n value is this f dot n i'm just putting 4 by 3 into 3y minus xy into dx dy on the xy plane ds equal to dx dy on the xy plane dx dx dy by n dot k n dot k n dot k okay on the xy plane dx dy that is now tell me y equal to y equal to y equal to 0 to 0 to y equal to 0 to y equal to 0 to that is 0 to here what is the value of y 6 minus 2x 6 minus 2x and x equal to 0 to 6 x equal to 0 to 6 try to understand x equal to 0 to 6 x equal to 0 to 6 y equal to 0 to 6 minus y because the strip is parallel to y axis this is y equal to 0 this will be the lower limit this will be the upper limit upper limit what is the value of y y equal to 6 minus 2x 6 minus 2x and n dot k what is the value of n dot k you see so what is n actually n is this n dot k is 2 by 3 so here you can write n dot k is n dot k n dot k n dot k equal to you see k dot k is 1 so 2 by 3 so here we can write 2 by 3 it becomes actually out out outside the integral 3 by 2 2 by 3 so it give a, it give a, it becomes uh, 3 by 2 okay 3 by 2 3 3 cancel it, it is 2 by 3 if we put over 2 by 3 and here is 4 by 3 so uh, that is 3 3 cancel so it becomes 2 so 2 is outside the integral x equal to 0 to 6 y equal to oh, sorry uh, and integration y equal to 0 to 3 uh, 6 minus 2x 3y minus xy into dy dx dy dx dy dx so what is the value of this you can calculate by using double integration this is the main part actually i am not solving i am just leaving this for you so first with respect to y with respect to y this will be y this will be dx with respect to y then with respect to x so what will be the answer of this question that is 81 81 is the answer if you solve this the answer will be 81 how to get this with respect to y first then with respect to x this is the main part if you get this part then you can easily solve how to solve this so this is all over the surface integral up to uh, part 4 so i think everybody understood very nicely part 4 and you have to see before uh, before that i have submit i have uploaded 1 2 3 part 1 part 2 part 3 you have to see that part and this part so in the next lecture I will come with my next lecture that is part 4. This will be the last lecture. So there will be uh, 5 lectures on surface integral. If you see all the 5 integral, I think every, each and every sum you can solve it. Each and every sum you can solve on surface integral. There will be no doubts, no, no uh, confusion of, about surface integral. You have to see all these 
five lecture then you are you will be the you will be the master on surface integral thank you till thank you bye bye thank you